Hello again, internet. Saw. Been a minute. <laughs> Things are a little busy around here. So, let's see. I've got three wishes. Yeah. Finished Agrabah. Time to move on to the next place. Right, I've got green trinities now. And I can warp! Awesome. Well, <laughs> as I live and breathe, if it isn't Pinocchio. Oh, hi, Jiminy. What in the world are you doing down here? Mm. Playing hide and seek. Oh, I just don't believe it. And here I was, up all night, just worried sick about you. Why, of all the Pinocchio. Are you just assuming that Sid is going to want to take care of this kid? <laughs> like we were going to say no. know how much I'm actually gonna do at the synthesis workshop in these um in the final mixes because they added a bunch of special heartless that are just an absolute pain to fight like, they're really annoying and a lot of important synthesis materials come from them because of course they do I just don't want to go through the effort was the Fury Stone comes from one of those. Or Serenity Power. Maybe both. I don't remember. But there's a lot on these lists I'm just not going to be making. Certainly not in this playthrough. Er. Not recorded. Maybe if I go back to this. Big fat maybe, my friend. This 
So I think I figured out the constant grimacing thing, and that's just a me problem, really. Um, this new program is a little bit more sensitive, and so if I don't stay in more or less the exact position I had it calibrate to, it just gets confused and reads the expression wrong. So that's something we'll have to get used to, and would be a lot easier if I were at a desk chair instead of sitting on my couch, probably. <laughs> Think, 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 think. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play Pooh Sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So who knows? Who Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. This is such an existentially sad scene. Who just getting ready to disappear. Like, I basically just ran into a stuffed animal sitting in the middle of a meadow thinking about how to write a suicide note. But I, I guess it's not really suicide, but saying goodbye to yourself. Also, very weird to have that walk up without any background music, right? So, the minigames in this book are okay. That's one of the things I think the second game did 
Um, yeah, I, why am I hesitating? I think the second game did do the mini games better. They're, they definitely have a different feel to it, but of course they do. So I think just for expediences sake, I'm probably not gonna come back here and do most of these on video. Just for funsies, it accomplishes absolutely nothing. Oh, mother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. just walks into Rabbit's house and steals his honey all the time, so this is just fair play, right? He's not even in here anymore. Also, how many of them are aware they're in a book? Anything else to do while I'm in Trevor's Town? I don't think so. Halloween Town and Agri- er, not Agrabah, Atlantica? Let's see if I'm right. Uh, I really need to put more guns on my ship. It's amazing to me how many runs I completed with just the basic high wind because I didn't understand the gummy garage when I was a kid. And now having done a few more playthroughs, you know, as an educated adult, I'm like, why did I never put more guns on my ship? I think I was even, like, that good at gummy space. I could dodge some things, but... Mm.
I've always loved that you could just go through these. If you haven't added another engine, at least. away my barrel roll? to know how this whale is breathing and swimming in space. What is gummy space? Because it's obviously not space the way we think of it. Also, Sora, too late my ass. You didn't even try. That said this. Boring place like this. doing? Where are we anyway? Whoa! Oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed us. And for today's weather, expect showers. Oh, heavy showers. Ow! Who's there? It's me! Oh, it's just Pinocchio! Pinocchio? Pinocchio? Pinocchio, where are you going? Pinocchio! Come on, everybody, after him, quick! And why the fuck are you here? How did you get here? I love those little, um, like, nostalgic scenes of Sora and Riku as kids because they're not voiced. And they either couldn't afford or just didn't want to pay for voice actors for them. Also, what have you got? Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I'm not sure that that scene in the cave was in the base game. I think that's one of the ones they added for context. There, Pinocchio. With this, we can get out of here, Father. Really? With this big block? You think so? It's true. So, how did you end up here, Pinocchio? Oh, 
my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. So, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey, right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! Not giving a single fuck about his dad as he just walks off to get digested by a whale. yet. Not if I don't jump. Yeah, we'll come back for stuff later. Last time I did this, I shocked myself by mostly remembering my way through this banana's maze, so let's see if I still do. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. And we're leaving. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? What are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kyrie? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! You're an asshole. Oh, ah, come on! <laughs> Teleporty bastards. And they take so long to reappear. For us in the States, um, this last Thursday was Thanksgiving, and so um, last night we hosted a, a Friendsgiving at our apartment, because none of us have family close by. And at, at the end of the night, we played this great um, new game called Heroes of Barcadia, and it's a little drinking game. And Can I not get up any of these? I thought Chamber 3 was the way to go. But, um... So, you have a bunch of little hex tiles, and <laughs> they're waterproof because this is a drinking game. But, um, you, you lay them down randomly, so your dungeon layouts are different every time, and everybody plays as a different character with their own special ability, and your health is monitored um, just through um, graduations 
on these glasses that came with the game. You don't have little character stands, you have drinking glasses. And so when you take damage, you take a drink, it's specified on the monsters or whatever, and it's just... We didn't even play with alcohol, everyone had either water or soda, and I would love to see how zany it really can get. A ton of fun. There, um, one optional feature in the game is a stack of little house rules that you throw in just to make it more interesting. And... Ev oh yeah, everything is decided with rolls of d20s, and there are ways you can get to modify your roll if you want, so it's not just a straight roll all the time. But, um... The two... When you've got house rules out, um, you can you draw a new one from the deck whenever anyone rolls a 20, so it's not the same the whole game. And the two that we got were uh, the first one, everyone has to do funny voices for their character on their turn. If you forget, drink five damage. And then the second one was... Every time you take a drink, you have to pretend to um, take a little pixie off the rim of your glass. And it's just so goofy. And all of the character names were... Um, let's see, the sorcerer slash wizard was Merlot, the... Um, the Sorcerer, that's what it was. The rogue type that I played is Flaskian, the Concealed. Um, the Ranger was Absinthia. And I don't remember... Oh, there was um, the Barbarian, Sir Drank a lot. I don't remember the last one. And the monsters were all things like the Hangover and shit, the Balgrog, or um, the Micro Brunicorn. I don't know if it's for sale normally yet. It was a Kickstarter thing, but if you are of age and love absolutely goofy things like that. Highly recommend. be able to jump off of this box, but that's not the kind you can do. not allow you to knock me off this time. make that. I don't think so. Nope. Alright, one more time. Here I go, getting lost. Okay. Can't 
it up. That's the way I came from. I think that is also a door I have come from. Pass? Yeah! Come on! Oh. Sorry, Goofy. Fuck this. I should be paying more attention to where I'm going while I'm telling stories. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Thunder! can make it up there yet. Wrong side of chamber six. Where have I not been yet? are chamber six, two different ways to chamber two. time. Back in chamber one. This is a dead end. This is the way to go. Can't 
get up from here, so we have to go forward. This is where things get tricky. I've already forgotten whether I could make that jump. I think the answer was no. Come on. So I've got a different route into chamber two. Or that one. Which dead ends or this is the dead end where we have to go back to chamber one. So chamber two. Five. Okay. Have I just been missing this this whole time? No, we came through here, I think. me where I want to be. Ah, oh, yes. the barrel, I think I need that. Oh look, a trinity! Come 
let's not run right past that trinity like I almost just did. Oh no. We're just going. Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you would. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon it. Mind your own business. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? I do. used to be purple. Now it just looks like a gourd. You up for this? No problem. Let's do it. <laughs> Stay with it, did he say? Great advice. Never would have thought of that. Like... I get it. Parasites can be any color. But it looks like a gourd. Squash. There probably is some strategy to this part, but I generally don't play it any smarter than, you know, get in its face and beat the hell out of it. Which tends to backfire. I don't understand what it's doing there or what I'm supposed to do about it. <laughs>
my music just stop? That's fun. probably going to regret putting all of my potions in this fight, but it's kind of annoying, and I'd like them to help be able to help keep me alive when I run out of MP. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? That here the whole time. Well, that's gonna make my life a little easier. I could have sworn you had to get through all of Monstro before you got high jump. So that's been sitting here and I just didn't notice it. I feel dumb. I swear I can get up there now. Come on. Okay, we'll come back for that in a minute. There's the other chest I was missing.
I supposed to get up there? Do I have to come back with glide? That might be what it is. I should save one more time now that I've gotten all that shit. Yeah, camera, what are you doing? want to know if there is any relation between all of those chambers we just ran through and actual whale anatomy. Probably not. I'm sure it's just, hey, let's build a confusing maze with weird moving bits on the walls, but I don't know. Does it actually maybe reflect something in actual biology? Come on! Just ignoring the rest of those. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Jiminy, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. oh, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> That's such a dumb joke. Huh? Oh! <laughs> 
I, I love that, it just kind of stuffs its mysterious glowing orb back inside. Stop doing that, that would be great. Uh. I refuse to die now. I will not die now. What's Hurricane Blast? So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There, you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Hey, Maleficent, if I control the heartless now, can I just tell them to give her heart back? Soon, Kyrie. Soon. No, oh, because I've uh, forgotten my critical thinking skills. I want to know why that makes Monstro sneeze. trip to the gummy garage, put another weapon on our ship, and then I'm gonna call it here. Well, that's handy.
fun. Let's make this ship horribly unaerodynamic. <laughs> do anymore. Let's take something off. I think I did. Oh well. More guns. You could save in space. I guess I was wrong. Five and six. Probably thinking of birth by sleep letting you save in space. And that'll do it for today. See you next time.